that's weird. You can hear the Pokemon in the background. Yeah, I always knew that. It's such a very neat feature. Uh, turn down the volume. I don't want to create an echo. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll have that in anyway. Just because it's a neat thing. Yeah. Anyway. I completely forgot about that because the volume was always so low. Yeah. It only happens when you're just, like, long enough inside an area in the overworld of the Pokemon. But it's so interesting to have that implemented in there. Yeah. Lord knows why it wasn't even included in the other in the other generations. But anyway, hello everyone, GBA049 here. And King 64 And welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Leaf Green, episode number five. Yep. This... Be prepared to see a lot of this. Yes. A lot of Zubat. Just as this meme says, the moment you step in, pile on. Pile driven by a bunch of Zubat. By a whole family reunion of Zubat from every cave in existence. Swarms all over you. What? Don't sneak up on me. No, you snuck up on me. Who the Jack fuck. Are you? fuck. Jovan. Oh, a Magnemite. Oh, uh, God, Magnemite. We don't have a fire attack. <laughs> we do have a fight. Yeah, we do, sort of. Is, is, still t is he normal or fighting or just fighting? Fighting, fighting. okay. Yeah. yeah. Don't paralyze me. Oh, okay. So, now we're dead. No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Super Sonic. Okay, that's just confusing. No, no. I was thinking of Sonic Boom. Alright, alright. Come on. Nail it, nail it, nail it, nail it. Fuck. Oh. Every single time. When I see the letter I, I'm just, I'm just overflown with disappointment and depression. It, it fuck. Uh, it always pisses uh, me off seeing the letter I. The first thing, the first, the first thing you see in the dialogue box when Pokemon's confused, just you already know that it's. You already know that you already know it's confusing. That you, that your Pokemon's a fucking idiot because he's so confused he doesn't know what to do with himself. Oh, come on, you bullshit RNG. Random number fluctuation shit. Okay! Kill this Please, bitch! Land. Please kill. Oh. Nah. Oh no, we got the sturdy. Okay, oh no, we got the sturdy ability early. Okay. That's alright. Eventually, when we get to the name rate, yes. eventually, when we get to uh, the, uh, the uh, you know, the. The, the, the person that, that, that nicknames Pokemon, we're just gonna go nickname it to Monkey, okay? Okay, we'll bring him back to Monkey. Cause you know. Mm, monkey. We don't have revives. We're pretty sure there's a rare candy we can find. Oh look, a Pokeball. Try and capture it. How? What? Fury attack. Yeah, it was an automatic. Uh, yep, yep, it's one of the. Uh, the uh, signature moves of Beedrill. Not only really are they useful because you know, one to three to five, one to five times. But we got lucky because it hit five times. Yeah. Excellent. All right, do it again. Oh shh. Screech. I hate Screech so much, dude. Oh, oh, oh shit! Good. I gotta swap out. I think we'll turn to roll out, and that'll murder us. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's not gonna go use it that early on level 11. Nah. That's preposterous. It's not gonna. That's not oh, gonna it's not happen. Charged. Even charge? It it charges. It, it just charges your. It raises your special attack, even though nothing grows. Oh, charging power. Oh no! I should be I afraid. So many bad decisions. Unit doesn't. Unit doesn't have any good. Movement. Wait. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure charge only raises your special defense stat. Yeah. But it doesn't say that it does. Like, charge power is like, oh no, I should be careful. You might be thinking of charge beam, which has a chance to raise your special attack. Oh. I don't think it's in this game? Uh, I don't think charge beam is in this game, no. Ah. You could consider this a partial blind run. Yeah. We haven't done the early games of Pokemon in a long while. I don't think I even beat the post game of Leaf Green because I always got stuck. But I will say that uh, I will say that the the Pokemon League was pretty damn challenging at its time. Okay, we got a potion. That'll help at least. Is it even possible to remake a remake? Yeah, you can do that. Right. 
Biggie out is fine. He's a high level anyway, so we don't need to train him. All right, little gerbil. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, there we go. All right, little gerbil. I'll save the rare candy for when we need to revive someone more important. I mean, not that Big Yard isn't important, it's just he's already a high level. All right, little gerbil, fight this kid. Robbie. Look at this bug that I just found. What else should we do? Uh, Kill. Donkey. Donkey. It's donkey. It, it, it looks like it's look. It's donk kill. Donkey. Donkey. What will donkey do? Kill. <laughs> I love that meme so much. So do I, man. That's so good. It always catches you severely off guard because of how because of how out of context it sounds. Yeah. Do you want to know the actual context of that? Uh, it was what was something you would do for sex. And someone said kill, and Steve Harvey just completely lost it and started cheering his ass off one. because that was like the that was like a very good answer. Yeah. Now the best part about that meme is that the moment when kill was on the board, the screens were cut out short. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had to go play that right now. Hold Bye. on. Okay. Yeah. Turn it off. Let me go find it real quick. Pull off that clip. Of course I'm gonna go pull off that clip. Why wouldn't I? I mean, one reason why I shouldn't. Did I? Up, we can put it up when we edit the video. Or are you just like a uh, play it one? I'm just gonna play it because for fuck's sake, it's, right. it's in my head right now. Alright. Alright, here we go. Alright. Player. Are you ready? That's a freaking dick! I hate this! Ads. Ads burning hell! <laughs> the cheering just starts and then cuts off. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's just the way that he says kill that makes it so Com comedic. The tone, the presentation, and the delivery that of when he just says "kill" this gets me every single time. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. Go, I'm, gonna I'm gonna play this one more time. Okay. It never gets old. It never gets old. It's so funny. Old memes live the longest. I'm pretty sure yeah. this one is gonna go live on for a long you know time, the, like Pepe. You know the Doge dog? Yeah. Uh, she turned 14 recently. Oh, really? I think it's a she. Oh, it's a good thing there. Yeah. That's so, a good thing, strong. man. It's so, it's so cute. Odd dish. Not to mention that uh, m most of the classical means have become a lot more modernized. Yeah. For some reason. Not that I'm a. Uh, well, not that I'm upset with that or anything. Just as long as they take the right direction. Trollface is becoming morbid. Trollface is simultaneously becoming morbid and also wholesome. I've seen it used in a lot of wholesome memes lately. Oh, really? Yeah. What about the f face? That hasn't been used in forever. I don't think anyone's gonna go use that at all. The only thing, the, the only thing that remains iconic out of all of them is Trollface. Yeah. Because it's all about the salt, the irritation, the comedy, the and the anger. sarcasm, and the arc, and the, and the anger that, 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 that resonates from that face itself. Yeah. You just cannot defeat it. I'm just surprised that Megusta wasn't able to like uh, like move on where like, like Trollface did, but nope. No. Not even uh, not even Nicolas Cage. You don't say sarcasm face lived long enough. That one was my favorite back at the time. Yeah. To the point where to the point where I always repeated all of these uh, sarcastic memes from uh, from uh, f from the you don't say template. Yeah. There was something about that that has made it so funny to me.
that I just couldn't get enough of it. I was like, I, I was like, hmm. I wonder if there's any more uh, unique, uh, like, you know, sarcastic memes that always end with the you don't say face. Cause, because the ton of the stuff that, that is written in those templates is just so creative that it just makes you, it's, I, 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 I oh my god. Yeah, there's not that many memes from so long ago. You speak the so obvious, bad. speak something so blatantly fucking obvious and predictable that the you don't say is most likely to conquer. Yeah. And just, and just, and just like, uh, take center stage and it's like, no. No. <laughs> Is like, hey, can I get hey, teacher? Can I go to the bathroom? What now? No, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were a lot. They were so simple back then. So. I know. I miss it when I, I miss it when memes were just more simplistic back in the day. Nowadays, they're just they just do whatever the fuck you want, and it's just like, uh, hey, here's a here's a picture of something unedited, and there's a bunch of saturation in here. It's funny. Laugh at it. Sometimes it is. Sometimes it is, like I H. Like, I feel like memes are getting a lot better lately, though. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, we're starting to make a comeback. Yeah. I, I, cared, I did not care at all for the hot dog, dancing hot dog one. <laughs> I did not like that one at all. That one was hit or miss with the content. Some, yeah. Some of it was good, some of it was not good. Yeah, same exact the same exact case can be said with the, here, oh shit, here come, oh, like, uh, here come that boy, boy, oh shit, what up. Yeah. That was the kind of uh, piecing things together to see if it would stick, and it did for a while. It did for a while, but then it just it, it, it but, but 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 then it but then it but then it forgot it didn't have training wheels. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, let's see what else was there. Oh shit! I have fallen and I can't what up. <laughs> <laughs> that one was good. I love that, that one. That one was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. I remember all the MLG memes. Chef time. Boy RD, oh shit, what up? Chef Dat Boy RD. Yeah. You always gotta make the creativity and innovation yeah. with the more modern the memes. The more creative the meme can be, the yes. more creative you can be with the meme, the longer it'll last. Most of the time, I like uh, the. Uh, I, most of the time, I like the uh, the logic and irony of modern memes when they're used in the correct fashion. Yeah. Because the ones that I just stated are perfect examples. Yep. What are them? What are some other things that I didn't really care for? Oh, uh, let's the, see. The pufferfish that went off. Oh. Uh, oh yeah, the the the. Uh, uh, you know, uh, that, that, that that oddly human sounding uh, yeah. pufferfish like biting onto a carrot. Not not exactly eating. It was just you know. No, I was eating it. But, but, but he kept on spitting it out. Then? But it, remember. but it did get killed later on because yeah, it was used for food. It was used for food, but uh, here's the thing though, the pufferfish was like the, the video of that pufferfish was only used as a demonstration to show how sharp the beak was. Yeah, which is very, very sharp. But the reason why it became a meme was the noise it made, which yeah. is surprising. It's so bizarre to like hear. A puffer fish of all things, sounding human-like. I know. That's Puff the reason why it blew weird up. Hearing animals in general sound human-like. Like, have you ever heard? I don't know if you've seen those videos, but it's like it's usually people at night or security guards at night in like the the Northwest, and it, it, the videos you see are them. They usually like walk up into a forest or they're in a forest mm -hmm. and then you hear like this this very human sounding like female I wanna say scream. But no, apparently it's like some wild cats. When they do like their mating or warning call, they just sound like people screaming. Oh my lord. And it's terrifying. If I heard that in the forest, I would shit myself. But it, it, if I heard that in a forest, I'd run. It is like it is like visceral too. Uh, visceral like it, means like it's a harsh scream. Oh, visceral is in vicious. Yeah. Ah, that's a little bit cool. And then there's like English is everywhere when it comes to when it comes to alternatives. Yeah. Whereas with every every, every then other those language, we're that can talk. Oh yeah. Like parakeets and all that. Yeah, parrots. The, the birds paradise. I don't know. Uh, I don't think birds are paradise. Crows can talk. 
crows can talk? Yeah, crows are actually better at talking than uh, parrots. Oh, really? Yeah, it's just nobody. And they also have that. a and they also have a more sharper memory. Oh yeah, crows are smart. Crows are awesome. They, crows have the ability to remember faces. That is amazing. It's so cool. It's. It'd be like the perfect pet to have. It would be if we could uh, domesticate them. Well, somehow. just well, yeah. Well, just as long as you don't like. Oh, it's like, hey guys, I have a pet bird. What kind of bird? Oh, cassowary. What? You have a, a what now? You have a what? You have a what? <laughs> a castle what? A castle what? Oh, uh, what you got there? A smoothie. <laughs> oh shit! And it's a fucking cassowary. Oh, or, my no, God. in 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 the actual show, it was an emu, wasn't it? What show? iCarly. I'm sure. Was it an it, No, it was an ostrich. Oh, yeah. It was an ostrich because they did Not the, the bird that won a war. No, it was the thing that was like, this ostrich thinks I'm a lady. Oh, well, that's the case. Might as well want to bring emus to the US so that way no. we. Please, no. Why not? I don't want them here. If Australians can lose a war against emus, we don't need them here. Then again, this is America. We could probably train them to overthrow the government or whatever. I know, right? But then they take over and we'd be under the new Emu Republic. The new Emu Older. I don't know. <laughs> the new Emu Older. Emu Older. <laughs> In bird we trust. In bird we trust. <laughs> Their space program. When emus take over the world. Their space program is just them getting wings. <laughs> Hilarious. Plot twist. They're not lizards, they're emus. That's the reason why they <laughs> don't emus. die. That's the reason why they don't die. They're not lizard people, they're bird people. They're bird people. They're Chozo. They're the mocking. The mocking. Oh no. Hey, a Moonstone. Is it too soon to- is it, is it actually too soon to talk about, uh, like, uh, you know, like, it, I talk it, about, like, I don't know, like, a- Like, spoilers? I don't know, like, come up with, a, like, a little bit of jokes with the- Ooh. with, you know, dread and all that. Um... My personal rule is, you don't talk about the spoilers for the game until until, after, until two weeks have passed. True. That's my personal rule. But then again, there's also still people that are like, uh, all like still playing Metroid Dread and they haven't and they haven't finished it yet. True. Like recently, but like it, if but you bought Metroid Dread day one and you haven't beaten it, it's two weeks to a month. Yeah. And if you haven't beaten it a month later. I'm allowed to talk about spoilers. I prevented myself to like, uh, like not go on any social media or like watch any YouTube video, uh, for like the entire time when I was playing Metroid Dread. By the time when I finished, like, freedom. So yeah. that's how always that's how it felt for me. Spoiler avoidance. Yep, spoiler avoidance because some cheeky bastards at the time were able to data mine the damn thing and spoil the end of the game before it was even released. Like, how do you even do that? How do you even do that? Like, illegally obtaining the game early and spoiling the game. Yeah. If you're those types of people, rot in hell. Not brought in hell. Rot <laughs> in hell. But, but you were, but when you rot in hell, okay, you are okay. brought in there. Not B R A T. Hey! But yeah. Anyway. Finally. All right, stick with the program. One, 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 Little kids shouldn't be messing around with grown-ups. It could be bad news. Dude, you're like 17. Wait, there's. Oh I don't wait, know, I... Jesse and James are 17. Oh wait, I forgot. I don't know how old uh, the other Pokemon. Two okay, I, I I completely forgot. Generation One didn't have um, like a theme song for the uh, main antagonist group theme song, like like grunt battles. No. You only get that in Gen Two. I'm pretty sure. Maybe you don't, maybe you do. It's complicated. Can we all agree that, uh... Oh, fuck. Uh, can we... It. Can we all agree that, uh, the, uh, best grunt, uh, battle theme in the, in the series is, is Team Plasma? Yeah. 
Team fucking Plasma is dope uh, as hell. I'm gonna do something to heal my Pokemon. And I'm gonna fast forward through this because it'll take a while. I get it because they're fucking stupid. Why is he still damaging me? I'm surprised that as long as you don't get critical. Alright, I'm just gonna bullet see him now. Oh, he's using Tail Whip, that's why. Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna defeat him now. Usually a smart move, but I'm afraid you can't advance further. Reset the game. What was that? Uh, Star or something? Fantasy Star 3 reference. Fantasy Star 3. When the game just, uh, when the game outright tells you that you just soft lock your game. Right. That you soft lock and you can't. But, 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 but I'm afraid the story can't be progressed here. Okay, there we go. Now I so, so what happens when you loot, when you use some kind of special item that that you purchase at the beginning of the game to escape out of jail, but the moment you do that, you you kind of fuck yourself up. And when you talk to the king, it's like, ah, you use this item. Usually a smart move, but I'm afraid the story can't be progressed. Reset your game now, or something like yeah, that. It's essentially using that escape route in Mount Moon. If the entrance to Mount Moon was blocked off, so now you can't get back in to finish it. Basically, yeah. And that's the sheer brilliance behind it. And I just wish that other video game companies were, like, like had that, like, had that level of innovation on how they designed their games. Just for the shits and giggles and all the memes and all that, back in the time. Back in the time, it was at its prime. Nowadays, it's just like, hey, we made this game and it's amazing, try it out. It's like, oh yeah, it is. What about the silly stuff? I want to laugh, you know? Yeah. You Give me some. have a decent sense of humor. Yeah. At times, even if they're supposed to be serious. Yeah. Most of the time, they also like to put in the these uh, innuendo jokes every one, every now and then. Yeah. And you don't even notice it until the older you become. It's like, oh yeah, take a look at this couple who has an onyx and a cloister. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. So oh like no. Who did that? And who got? A How did they get away with that? I mean, it's... Don't see things like that. No, they don't. No, no, no. I'm pretty sure there's, like, other... Anyone knows in other, uh, in, in, like, other Pokemon games, but that's the first thing that comes to my mind because it's the most it, it's the most infamous. I hate sand attack so much. I hate double team with sand attack. <laughs> that's the worst. With hey, substitute. Well, at, least at least it's taking damage. Nah, here's the... No, no. Here's the there. dick strategy of a Pokemon. Alright. As follows. I don't even know which Pokemon is able to use it, but... First move. Sand Attack. Second move. Double Team. Third move. Substitute. Fourth move. Recover. You will do no damage. They'll struggle. The, and they'll it's miss. The stall it's the stall strategy. The ultimate stall strategy. Pokemon Battle Revolution was notorious for that shit. Am I going right? Yeah, I'm going right. I vaguely remember most of the stuff that went down uh, when my sister was playing Battle Revolution on a daily basis, but. The more that I watched her play, the more bored I got because of the AI that was in the higher ranks of the Colosseums. I shit you not. There was one particular battle that my sister was struggling through that lasted so long that it just ticked me off by, on how cheap it was. To the point oh, where it was great. unfair. Here's what happened. Stealth Rock, Sandstorm, and Probopass and Apollywhirl continuously using Protect. Oh. And her entire party got wiped out by the Weather and Stealth Rock. It was horrible. 
it pissed me off more than her. It sounds horrible. And I'm, and I'm just genuinely surprised that those Pokemon were able to use Protect that many times in a row. Like, how do you even fucking do that? That's like Battle Frontier levels of levels of unfair. Ah, fuck. Like, okay. Okay, you know the Battle Frontier in Gen 3, right? Yeah. Like how their AI just cheats? Just despite all the odds, they kick your ass anyway. Speak. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll let you finish, but I have something to add to that. I don't even. I don't even need to say anything. But uh, Battle Frontier, for for the shit that I've seen, is like, oh yeah, just like, uh, take a look at this. Uh, here is a ride on that just like a uh, used uh, move that has low accuracy and uh and like you know just you know. I use this. I use this move and miss, despite the fact that it's 80% accuracy. Yet all of a sudden, this fucking Rhydon just used uh, just used Horn Drill and instant killed my Pokemon. And then I br and then and by by the time when I grab my other one, this Rhydon had a Quick Claw and used Horn Drill before you could even attack, and it's and and and, and it landed. The worst shit. But yeah, speaking mm -hmm. of cheating AI. I would like to point out to Dark Souls 2. Oh boy. There are NPC invaders that can invade you in the game. Okay. And they, it has been proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that they cheat. Like it is 100% confirmed and proven that they cheat. Do you want to know why? What happened? To they specify. can animation cancel. Oh my god. They can make themselves immune to poise damage by animation canceling. Like normally, when you're up against another player, let's say you're using a greatsword and you hit them once, that usually leaves them vulnerable to being hit twice. Almost guaranteed all the time. It's a true combo. 100% unless they have an absurd amount of poise, it's guaranteed every time. The NPC invaders are not affected by this. They will get stunned, and you will go to swing it the second time, and they will just cancel their stun animation and roll out of it. What the fuck? That's NPC and not player. That's NPCs. You got to be kidding me. Yes. Oh my god. Not only that, they can roll cancel out of their moves if you swing at them. So if they're currently in the middle of a of an attack animation, which can't be canceled, by the way, by you, if, you're in the, if they're in the middle of an attack animation, and they whiff it, and then you go to attack, punish them, they will cancel their attack animation and roll out of the way. What the fuck? It doesn't happen all the time, but it happens enough to be annoying. Oh my god. Well, and well not only uh, that, they have, noted. they have ridiculous amount, they have an absurd amount of poise for their armor that they're wearing. <sighs> so like, if they're wearing like, rags and cloth, they can tank your greatsword hit. So it's basically a middle finger that's straight. Uh, that, that's, that's basically a middle finger delivered straight from from software. Like, have fun. Uh, on what uh, planet oh, is that oh. considered okay? Not this one. Almost as like as like. Oh. But fortunately, they're cheesable. Unfortunately. Fortunately. Cheesable, as in what? You can cheese them. Okay, cool. Are they predictable? All but one. Spencer Sharon. Oh. Okay. I don't know what any of these references, but I'm just imagining them, and that's I, I, I'm I'm pic I'm picturing the images in my head, and they're just pissing me off. Spencer Sharon is unbelievably hyper aggressive for no reason. <laughs> Look at coughing. I forgot how coughing. I forgot how derpy coughing looked in this game. You told him, hey, it says gold wall on the ceiling, and he looked up, and he hasn't stopped trying to find it. No, 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 or. Or or, 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 either that, or he's just laughing because it does. Oh, so it dies! Stole my lungs. Oh, you stole my lungs. I love the accent. Yeah. Oh, from that line. Hey, it says gullible oh, on the ceiling. Oh, so I die! Stole oh. my lungs. We are in Hey, trouble. it says, hey, it says gullible on the ceiling, on the ceiling. It's oh, so I die! I stole my lungs. It's Gullible. A... Yeah. Ah, uh, we are in Ultra so Asdif. Ultra Asdif is a gold mine of Asdif skits. 
Yes. Of all as the of, of all as the poop animations, that one is by far the best and the most creative. I want to be a pie. <laughs> no. Ah! Rip off. Kitten fight. No, wait. Muffled. I'm a little too adorable. <laughs> I first Please. saw that, I nearly pissed myself because it was Please. so it was so unexpected. <laughs> oh my lord. Oh my god. Come on, Kamui, you can do this! Come on, Kamui! You can do this! Oh, Fuck wait, him wait, up! Hold on, hold on. I know a way Kamui can guarantee do it. Dude, seriously. This is a freaking Team Rocket grunt for crying out loud. We have two Pokemon left, both at one, both at critical. Biggie's about to die. I know, but you see, here's the thing about that. Come on, he's Kamui. About, he's about to die. Come on, come on. Oh, uh, what? Why are you using Poison Sting? I don't have any more Fury Attack left. Come on, take it! Oh! Oh, I didn't is out of Pokemon. Oh, it's super nerd. Yeah, I didn't white it out Oops, white it out. What happened to blackout? I didn't scurry to a Pokemon Center protecting the exhausted and fainted Pokemon from, from from further harm That's dark the more that you look into it. Yeah It's like my pets have been beaten in battle. We hope you excel Thank you. Okay, so I think it's about time we actually catch another Pokemon later on. Yeah. That's how you. We need more type variety. Yeah. We need to, like, go back into the cave and beat it. Go back into the cave and beat it. Do we have repels? No, but let's go buy some. Yeah. Real quick. If there even is any. We should be able to. I'm pretty sure we got a bunch of money from the trainers over there. Okay. So I uh, take it that uh, you didn't even bother, like, going through uh, the uh, wild grass. In not, this route, not too much. There's oh, not, not too much, much new that's here. Ah, uh, no. Oh no. I might get my. Uh, get, I, want, uh, hmm. I want to go a little bit later and get a hypno. Oh yeah, a hypno or drowsy. Yeah, drowsy, and then evolve it into hypno. Yeah, psychic type, oh, man. No, I'm not here. You know, back in the time when psychics were just all the rage, overpowered, and overpowered as fuck. Like, I'd say I'd go as far as like just undefeatable. Yep. Like, the very best, like, nothing ever was. There we go. Really? I'm pretty sure, if used correctly, Whitney's a joke. Yep. Am I the only person here who just thinks that Whitney's not that bad of a gym leader? No, because you can get a Machop through a trade in the... in the, um... Uh, Goldenrod Department Store. Oh, okay. And it's a female Machop, too. So it'll be immune to her status. Oh right, that's genius. Yep, that's and very... it's resistant to rollout, which her milk tank is infamous for. Ah, well then, might as well want to get that then. What should we name him? Uh, we can't name him because it's from a trade. Oh fuck, but we can. Well, just, let's just pretend that, it, that that she does have a name. Let's call her. I didn't use the repel. Command grab. Command grab. CG. Cue the clip. What clip? <laughs> oh yeah. That clip. The command grab clip. The command grab clip is like, aw, oh. you feel so down on yourself. You looks like you need a hug. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Bash your face into the ground. I fucking love that command grab so much. It's the most broken in the game, but the animation and the and the irony of just of, of how much chop just of how much champ just bashes just your bashes face you into the ground. bashes your freaking skeleton on onto the ground. Your skeleton and just, looks and uncomfortable. Let me remove it for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't answer it. Okay. No, but seriously. Command grab, mod champ. Even though it's situational, the payoff is worth it. Oh, yeah, it's very worth it. 
We need to get the fucking amulet coin. Oh yeah, of course the amulet coin. Where is that? Is I don't know. Oh, I think it's in the... I think it's a hidden item in Celadon. Yeah, way later on, I'd say. Once we get to Cerulean, the game will truly open up. Uh, we need... Oh, shit. Oh, unit. That's it. You pronounced her name wrong. UNIT! PERFECT! DEFINITELY A UNIT! Yes. Of our entire party! Oh, Dude. Let's level up. Come on. I blew it! I didn't! Okay. Oh, look at that! I oh, star piece. Star yeah, piece. we can just sell that. That's helpful. And for money, um, mostly. Oh, shit. That's alright. Use more, use more, use more. I bought more. five. Okay. Because I wanted to buy up potions, too. Okay. Good. As long as we don't, like, uh, encounter any Zubat. Nope. The repels are actually working this time. Yeah, most of the time they just don't. Yeah, that's due to a really weird bug. Or maybe it's just like a... Like some kind of oh, chance of something? Down. I don't know. Alright. Make sure you know exactly where you're going. I do. I remember now. Alright. You way. wasted... You wasted two steps for that. For that one turn. There's an item we don't have yet. Thief. Thief? Wait, hold on. I didn't get that last time. Oh wow. This is also back at the time when the dun 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 was not implemented when you were like find a technical machine. I'll give it to Conway. Thief. Hmm. No wait, it'll learn twin needle. Uh yeah. Which is a bug type move, which is already good against psychics. How about Why in the heck would do we even need to use Thief? It's not like Pokemon's held items. So that way we can take it for ourselves. Yeah, and plus it'll give us some type variety too. Yeah, true. Um. Let's get rid of tackle because we have quick attack. But then again, I don't even think uh, the thief is a is an offensive move. It is. It's just a little low on power. It was it okay. It looked it, it, it okay. And honestly, it looked very cute when the TM was like attached to a uh, Pidgey like. <laughs> Here, have this. <laughs> Big Yacht's head looked like it was some kind of doctor. Yeah. Dr. Big Yacht. Aw, oh, you gonna die. Aw, oh, bitch. Bye! Oh. Nah, it's super effective, but most like... Ooh. No. Oh, yeah. The single-handedly most weak and mediocre... Move in the game. Health-sapping move in the game. That they buffed the fuck out of in, gen in Sword and Shield for whatever reason. Or was it Sun and Moon? I might have been Sun and Moon. I don't yeah. know. It went from 20 power to 80 power. 80. 80. Oh, look, Snake. Uh, I guess this is a very cool Pokemon. Let's see if it has any held items. Alright. Steal from the Snake. Tread on Snake. Oh, it's got to intimidate. Oh, naturally, it's a Snake. Gotcha. Nope. Nah, I didn't have anything. Thief. Stolen okay. in the dead of night. How many we can't be poisoned? Why did why in the heck did the background have to change to a more corrupted dark void? Because that's how dark type moves work, for some reason. But thief is like Yeah. Well, like that one meme. Dark is like quote a, unquote the evil type. No, it's like a I don't know. Thief. On how it works, this visual like like, like a visual interpretation on on the move thief in Generation One and Pokemon Leaf Green, Leaf Green and Fire Red, the vibe check meme. You failed. Yeah. You want to hear an interesting fact about? A it's dark, just that dark type it's move? just that human hand just like a breaking through the screen, aiming toward the person that's viewing it. Would you like to hear an interesting fact about a certain dark type move? Okay, sure. Tell me. All right. So the move Night Slash actually has a real-world counterpart. Yes. Back in ancient Japan. Okay. Um, I forget who, 
It was either Wandering Ronin or Samurai, I don't remember. When they get new swords, they would often test them by hiding at night along open roads. And when someone or a caravan would come by, they would test the sword by seeing if they could kill the passerby in one cut. Whoa. I had absolutely no idea that a Pokemon move would have real-life origins. Yep. That's pretty sweet. Yep. What else is there? I know there's more. You're going the wrong but way. But I don't remember specifically. No, I'm going the right way. Okay. That was just for an item. Where's the exit? Freaking hell, get the get out of here, man. Sorry, we got two left. Which is not enough. Nope. This this place is gigantic anyway. Oh no, where are we going? I know where to go. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. I think you should. Okay, come on. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. We can make this. We can make it. Why they had to make the freaking corridor so so long? Jeez. That's our last repel. All right, make it count. Yep. Make all steps count. There we go. We made it back to where we were. I found these fossils. They're both mine. Okay. Oh yeah, this guy kicked our asses. Yep. So now we're gonna kick his ass. Yeah. But to be fair, he. Um, goo. <laughs> that one, that one sprite of Grimer, in like the older generations, of of, of Pokemon. Yeah. He's so damn funny. He's going woo. Yeah. I can't remember. I can't remember what, what game ah. it was from, but Grimer. There is always something so likable about the Pokemon Grimer. Yeah. Despite the fact that he's just. I used a low grimer in uh, Sun and Moon. Then again, I'm th boy, then again it might be my bias to purple. Yeah. Grimer's actually a genuinely good Pokemon defense wise. Well then you might as well want to go get one uh, really sooner or later. And psychic. It's got some pretty good immunities like grass and uh, fighting, which are fairly common. Oh yeah, I remember where to find Grimer and Muck. I'm pretty yeah. sure you can find Muck. You can find I think you can find it by fishing in a certain spot in Celadon. Oh yeah. It's in the sewers somewhere. Yeah, it's also in the sewers. But yeah. I in front of this one dude's house, he's got a bunch of muck grimer. Yeah. And there's Oh thank god. And I'm pretty sure that uh that uh, that one area is like the perfect place to uh, grind for a shiny grimer because the only Pokemon you can find in there. Yeah, Cause you know, I'm, I'm not quite. Wait, never mind. I shiny, also like shiny okay. Grimer. It's nice green. Yeah, it's 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 authentic green. You know, the good kind of shiny sprite. Yeah. Cause it's green, and not yellow. Ouch. I don't know. And not one of it, the yellow ones. What's a terrible yellow shiny? Hmm. Flintzel's good. I forgot what I forgot what he looked like. He's like golden. Oh, Spiro is also good. No, do you want to know the absolute best shiny form? I, I'm pretty sure I might have already said this before, but then You're again, kicking his ass now. Then again, it might have been in uh, in our very old videos that got Thanos snapped. Yeah. Okay, on the count of, on the count of three. Name the Pokemon with the best shiny sprite. One, two, three. Ho oh. Oh. Ho. Oh. Absolutely fucking amazing. Charizard's is overrated, but that doesn't care. that it's still good. Yeah. Like it's still hella good. It's like one of the better uh, shiny sprites of the starters. Oh yes. Next to Greninja. I do like Typhlosion shiny. I forgot which I forgot which shiny form. It's it a little like. pink. Oh, it's a little pink. I forgot, yeah. Oh yeah, and also, uh, Shiny Blastoise is pretty cool too. Oh yeah, that one's also purple, right? Purple and green. Yeah. Like a green shell and purple and purple skin. Yep. I uh, like that one. See. Shiny Venusaur is cool too. It's I forgot. Lime green body with yellow flower. Ah yeah, of course. Uh, oh yeah. Gen 2, uh, Shiny for Alligator. I think it was pink, right? No, it had a lighter blue body with dark blue shell. Or dark blue spines. I forgot most of the shiny sprites, to be honest. Oh wait, what should we get? Dome fossil. Okay, oh, yeah, okay. Dome fossil is Kabuto, right? Yep. Kabuto. Kabuto. Go get the horseshoe crab. I didn't put the dome fossil. What should we name him? 
All right, here we go. Take your, take your cute. We won't be able to get him for a while. Take your cute nautilus, buddy. Antidote. Give me your blue blood. Blue blood. Let me use it for action for medicine. Oh we my God! We're it. finally out. We did it. We made it out. No, we didn't. Oh yeah, there's these guys. Bunch of roaring ferocity. Mega punch. Mega punch or mega kick. Okay, so we have. I absolutely punch. love and hate so much that mega punch and mega kick are being taught by these two black belt master NPCs. Randomly at the end of Mount Moon. Worse yet, they're not fighting type moves. Yep. Fuck off with that crap. Should we give it to Unit or no? No, I gave Mega Punch to Unit. Mega Kick is stronger, so it goes to Donkey. Alright, just I'm gonna scratch you. Now I'm gonna go kick you. I'm gonna kick your dick. Kick you in the face. Now we are soulmates in the way of kicking. You should run before you've see, you're seen by the deluded nitwit who trains only simple punching over there. Read that other guy's dialogue. I missed that. No. Now we are comrades in the way of punching. You should go before you're seen by the by the misguided fool who trains only his silly kicking over there. Well, no wonder they're not fighting types. No wonder they're not fighting types because they're always. Because they're always because they're because they're always using their fighting type moves against each other. I think this should be an iron here. Looks like it to me. But I would have to yeah. say that I have to conclude the end of this episode because yeah. uh, we recorded long enough right here. Finally got the hell out of Mount Moon or yep. Mount Zoom Bat, Mount Zoom Bat. But yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, I'll have to conclude this in the end of this episode. Thank you all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you later. This is GBA Zero Four Nine and Sky King Sixty Four signing out, going offline, and see you next mission.